Hey guys, this is Bobby, and this is part 7, I believe it is. Anyway, uh, this past August, Bethany and I attended the Return of the Duelist preview. Now, we didn't go alone. Melanie joined us for this one, and she brought her boyfriend, Tim, who was a cool guy. And like Bethany, he's also a Dallas Cowboy fan. In fact, uh, we met up with Sarah on the, Sar uh, the, the, the Saturday before, and... Melanie and I took Melanie, Sarah, and I took them to the Washington Redskins store at the mall. <laughs> it was funny. I got pictures in case anyone want, uh, wants to see them. In fact, afterwards we went to my house and we watched the Redskins, uh, watched the Washington Redskins preseason game while we ate a lasagna that I, that I made, which was from a Redskins cookbook. Don't worry, I did not poison it. Anyway, at the preview, I got. We got uh, some really cool cards. I got to, I got seven XZ's monsters. Um, one of which was this one, Fairy King Al Alver Alverdeek. Um, funny thing is, Bethany and Melanie also pulled it, so it was a trifecta. And then after you know, after I got two sets of five packs and two promo cards, I bought both collector tins and a couple, and uh, like one or two hidden arsenal pack six packs. And one of those, and in one of the collector tins, I pulled. An ultimate rare Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Funny thing is that the previous preview, Bethany pulled the Ghost Rare, and I pulled this one, even though which is I because and it's also funny because I won the game mat, which features this guy, and he is well for a while for a while he was my most powerful XZ's monster, but now Super uh, Super Dimensional Robot Galaxy Destroyer is. But it's a really cool card. It's played by by Kite on, on his, his excellent wall. Fairy King isn't doesn't get hasn't been played by anyone yet. Well, I hope that someone plays it. But anyway, the preview was fu really fun. In fact, that whole day I saw 23 Mustangs. And afterwards, Bethany and I we well, Melanie well, we got there in Melanie's car, of course. And we, afterwards, we drove around. We uh, went by Melanie's old house. Which is where she was living when she and I became friends. Became friends ten years ago this month. Happy anniversary, Nissan. Anyway, well, by the way, we're hearing the um, "Life Is Showtime" by Show Curian. Anyway, we uh, when we saw the when we saw looked, saw, looked, um, saw Melanie's bedroom window on the second floor, Melanie and I told Tim and Bethany about the story about the time her cat Asteroid jumped out that window into some bushes to fight a cat, <laughs> and all the neighbors were wondering well, what all that noise was in this one bush, and it was obviously Asteroid and the cat duking it out, and Asteroid walks out triumphant. I mean, it was when Melanie told me that story, I was laughing my head off at that time, and Bethany and Tim thought it was pretty funny, too. Afterwards, of course, I should mention we got caught in a nasty storm, but luckily it blew over eventually, but at some point we stopped and got McDonald's for lunch. I should have brought my coupons, but I thought we weren't going to stop by McDonald's, so... We also stopped by another Harris Teeter while we were up there, because Bethany needed, uh, wanted to get a quick snack. So, but it was overall a really good day, and afterwards, of course, we we drove we drove back, Beth, and Beth, we listened to some music Bethany had on her phone, and but then Bethany was listening some, watching some videos on her phone, while Melanie, Tim, and I were we're just looking out at the road. And the next day, um, Melanie and Tim came back over, and we got some pictures. Oh, I should mention that day, on the day of the preview, we we got a couple of pictures taken of the four of us together outside the store. Anyway, afterwards, Bet, um, we got some pictures. The next day, Bet, um, Melanie and Tim came over, and we got more pictures taken together. And Melanie and I got our annual photo, of course. And I should mention also that when we were watching the Redskins game, both Melanie and I were wearing Redskin jerseys. I was wearing this one, of course. Coolie! But anyway, it was a really great day. Great weekend, actually. And I hope, hope we could do more. And Tim looks like a pretty nice guy. In fact, Tim, you're, you're, you're cool in my book. In fact, feel free to join Pwow! Melanie and Bethany and Sarah are all part of it. And since you know four members already... I mean, you know we're a friendly environment, dude. And not plus, you know, I've met I met one other I met two other members. And if you're if you're curious, Tim, I'll let I'll tell you. you now this ends part seven. A couple more things to go. And by the way, this was back by Bobby Brown from Ghostbusters 2.